In my last group we decided to take up beach cleaning. We organised half a dozen a year. We're worried about the impact on, of plastic on otters. It's entering the food chain. Uh, otters eat fish and crabs and they're inevitably picking up loads of plastic in their diet. Although we think the, the otters are doing well on mole, it's always been a stronghold for them on the west coast of Scotland. Um, we do need to keep an eye on them because things change. We're getting more tourism. They're going to be affected by pollution or microplastics in the sea. They use a lot of energy when they're fishing because they're in cold water. Despite their amazing fur, they use up a lot of energy to keep warm and they constantly need to eat. They're always on the brink of starvation. They can't afford to take any time off from fishing. So plastic, yeah, that's, we've, we've got to get it out of the sea because <laughs> they need to eat fish that does not contain plastic. A lot of the rubbish we pick up is fishing related, but like everywhere else, we're affected by bottles and cans. You find them on the side of the road. They're washed up on the coastline. As an example, in Loch Bui last year, we picked up about 100 bags worth of rubbish and at least two of those would have been plastic bottles. Uh, so that's 100 bottles at least just there in one stretch of beach. We've already seen in other countries, people have started to dig up landfill sites because they recognise that what is down there is useful. And we should start making life easier for ourselves in the future by not putting it in landfill sites right now. <laughs>